That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. On which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a long time in coming, but I just want to thank you, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, all, all these people gathered here, and obviously my wife and family, for uh, everybody being so supportive and helpful. And uh, I will try to uh, carry out the, the job in a way that will merit your confidence. I appreciate it. And I've got a problem with a neighbor out around the country. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we get a picture with the two of you and uh, Ursula and myself. Here. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Can you actually start in and watch this over there? Uh, I think in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be. Uh, we're going to. I'm going to kind of be working out of here for the next week or so to get things cleaned up. I, I wanted to be very careful not to take any overt or covert steps uh, in the new job until the vote actually came in. I'm kind of like you, I'm a little superstitious. But, <laughs> but uh, now that it's in, we'll, uh, we'll be phasing out this week and have kind of a, a two-week uh, transition period, and then we'll have a formal installation over there uh, in about two weeks. So, uh, That's great. That's great. Right. But thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all been standing here all this time? All this time. Well, it was the getting of the press out of the room. We couldn't take that off the governor's time, so we took it off our time. I think they were hanging back, hoping they'd overhear something. I think we're going to have a little... Yes. Every one of them is a master I didn't think Dave Gergen was nearly as good as you. Yeah. But they drew the flyer. Didn't that, didn't that, that didn't take long. <laughs> First question. That's not, tough, that's not tough to do. Show the, the 
new guy. I Luca called, is good. I called Kraut, Charles Krauthammer, who was public of Central America, Nicaragua. He has really moved in our direction. I called him just as soon as the first segment was over, called him on the phone. You know, he's a quadriplegic. Yeah, I didn't he's, know uh, Yeah, I think he can only move his left arm slightly. In Central America, he's as good as he got the road in this. Oh, I was prepared. I saw all of it. You just and I said, oh boy. You know, he was going to be from the wrong side. And he made more sense than I've heard on that program for a long time. <laughs> yeah. The New Republic generally has come around with some yeah. article. Not like an article in the mm -hmm. Crown Hunter. Terrific. Mm -hmm. That Kondraki has no reason. Either we're wrong or something like that. <laughs> <laughs>
in the exam. You could take a choice, answer one of them. And he kind of decidedly informed us that he would be in the administration building, and just to leave him on his desk. So we left the two of us in there with two questions and we could take a choice. We played. <laughs> 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 